Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. And in today's video, we are going to be reviewing Mattel's Pulsar Ultimate Man of Adventure Life System Center. Now, this is a set that I never thought I would have in my collection, mainly because Pulsar is not a figure you see in the UK at all often. But recently I was at a toy fair where my friend Lawrence, who runs Toy Planet UK, has a stall. And on that stall, he had Pulsar's Life System Center. And I'd never seen it before in the UK so I said to him at the time I was really tempted and then at the next toy fair I said to him oh actually I really do want that can you put it by for me and finally I now have it in my collection. If you've not seen Pulsar before he is essentially Mattel's answer to the six million dollar man. In 1975 Kenner brought out the six million dollar man and a year later Mattel brought out Pulsar and here's their sort of bionic man copy. He doesn't do the same things that the six million dollar man does but he does have a clear plastic chest allowing you to see all of his organs inside and there's a button on the back that you press and it pulsates his lungs and should push liquid around his internals and it is a crazy and very cool figure but as I said this wasn't particularly sort of released here in the UK so even the figures are very hard to find it took me quite a while to track down one and most of that came from the US and the Life Systems Centre I never thought I would actually see just because I think even in the US it's a fairly rare item so to find one one here in the UK and this one is completely boxed it's been opened but it has never been used all of the bits inside are still in the packaging so today we are going to open this up put it all together and have a proper look at it because I really want to get this so that I can display it with my Pulsar figure it's Pulsar, the ultimate man of adventure. Imagine you power him up for dangerous missions on the Pulsar Life System Center. Batteries not included. You can power his heart and lungs. Eight percent, no damage. Then dial the controls for the next test. Brain check, all clear. You can energize Pulsar faster and faster. Can you take it? All systems go! Pulsar Life System Center. Pulsar, the ultimate man of adventure, sold separately. New from Mattel. So let's take a closer look at the box. The artwork on the front is really quite stunning. You've got an image of Pulsar here, surrounded by the uh, Life System Center. On the left, you can see an X-ray uh, of the inside of Pulsar. And on the right, there's lots of sort of knobs and buttons and then some various wires attached around his body. And as you can see, it says Pulsar, the ultimate man of adventure in the corner. This is made by uh, Mattel. I can see their logo just up there top left and it says it requires two AA batteries not included and it comes unassembled. Now this as I say is something I didn't expect to find in the UK. Obviously we get the six million dollar man's uh, bionic transport and repair station and that was something I remember having as a child. This I never saw at all so uh, I, it was something no, I, I've seen sort of as I've started collecting and as soon as I saw it I thought I've got to have it because it would even look quite cool with Steve Austin sort of sat inside it but as I have a pulsar he is who i want to display with it if we turn the box over oh, on the back you can see there again is a bit more of a simplified uh, drawing of the center but it gives you a little bit more information because it shows you what everything does you've got mission programmer control dial another control dial remote activator and it also shows you the contents of what is in the box and that was what was amazing about this uh, when lawrence said that he had this he said that basically Although the box has been opened, the contents of this has never been used. So uh, today I will actually be opening this up. I'll be applying the stickers as well that have never been applied and we'll be putting it together for the very first time. So as you can see, this was released in 1976. The Bionic Man came out in 1975. So this was a direct result of the Bionic Man proving popular. But the uh, Pulsar figures didn't actually do particularly well. So the Pulsar figure is probably the easiest to get. His uh, enemy, Hypnos, is fairly hard to get I think even in the US and then this is probably the least uh, sort of popular thing that was sold at the time so this one apparently is the hardest part to get so I'm very pleased to have it but let's open this up and we'll see what is inside so as I said the box has already been opened but the contents are mint and never used so let's just pull this out I think I need to turn it over because there are some bits inside it There we go. As you can see, this has never been used. Everything is still taped together. So we have a nice instruction manual, shows you everything you need to do, where everything goes, all the bits that clip in and where to put the batteries, etc. Then we have a bag full of pieces. There's all the, the bits of wire and uh, tubing and an unused sticker sheet. This 
it's never been opened it's still sort of heat sealed so in a minute I will be opening this and we'll take out all of the contents and this unused sticker sheet I plan to scan in before I apply it to this set uh, so that if anybody wants a copy of that I will put it on toyploy.com because I assume that some people will have this set without any of the stickers I, I will scan that before I apply it to uh, my set here there's also the battery pieces and everything we have a couple of feet here which are still taped together with a bit of masking tape and then here is the playset itself oh, which is quite large and bulky and you've got all these knobs and pieces here that turn and then the interesting part of this set is, is a lever here which you can see me press and it moves all of these uh, sort of dials around one time but it also moves this metal arm and that should pump the lungs of Pulsos so you will see his lungs pulsing and then this is the x-ray machine so right let's open this bag for the very first time and we'll take everything out and as I say I'm going to scan in that sticker sheet so this set is almost as old as me and I can't believe that no one has ever opened this bag of bits uh, so I'm going to be the first person to do this in hmm, 45 years something like that so we'll just open that up and there we go we are in so here we have all of the pieces ready to use for pulse art. so you see we've got a plastic tube and in the instructions it says to cut this up that I may not do I might as well actually might yeah might as well come on if we're going to do this we might as well do this completely so I'll be cutting that up here are all the pieces that attach to the playset so these have never been removed from their little sprue so we will do that as well let's just do that quickly so there we go that's the first time that's ever been removed there we've got these levers that clip on there and some other pieces and here is the sticker sheet so before I apply this let me go and scan that in so that it will be useful for other people if they have this playset P-O-Y-P-O-L-L-O-I Okay, I've now scanned those stickers in, so let's apply these to the toy. They're fairly straightforward because there's a, a sort of a line of stickers here and they match up with the markings on this side of the playset. So I've just got to take them off the sticker sheet. Hope that there's still some stick left on these stickers. If there isn't, I'm going to add some myself, but I think they feel quite sticky. Let's just get them applied yeah they're going on quite nicely after 40 odd years they still do appear to have a bit of stick left on them Now I can follow the instructions to put the rest of the set together and it does appear we need to cut this tube so we've got a long piece of tube here and it says to cut it into six pieces so I'm going to first I'll cut this in half and then we'll cut those halves into a third so let's uh, get cutting there we go so we've got one bit and then the rest it doesn't really say what's it say sort of uh, use six inch guide shown above oh okay so if, if we sort of use that bit of paper there and I cut that okay so we'll end up with uh, sort of six inch pieces roughly from that so there's a couple and we get a couple more like so and there we go that's what you're supposed to do so we've now got lots of bits of tubing that I guess uh, plumb into these holes here which they do and we can put the rest of the set together so there are these uh, little sort of waste well I think it's a belt or something so that clips into uh, these pieces here this plastic is still quite flexible so uh, it should clip in fairly easily he says hmm, not that easily I'd have thought there was a bit more flex in there let's put that bottom piece in first like that there we go yeah and then we do the same on that side we have uh, this handle which should clip in here which is the, the bit that pumps everything so that clips in quite nicely we have this which is the battery compartment so I think you actually put batteries inside this I'll have to get myself a couple of AA batteries which I know I've got oh I see yeah there you go AA batteries go in there and then that plugs into a little slidey piece here we have this piece which is a sort of x-ray device which I think just clips onto there oh it does okay so that goes up and down and then we've got a couple of feet 
which are here, which need to clip either side. So I'll just clip those on and I'll reset my camera so we can look at this properly. OK, it's all now ready to go and we can get Pulsar in place. So here's my Pulsar. I've taken his top off because now we need to see that his lungs are pumping. There should be liquid inside this that pumps around. But as this is a sort of 40 something year old toy, uh, all of that liquid has evaporated and it no longer works. But you can still see that his uh, lungs pump up. So the idea is that we sit him in this uh, life systems centre pop him in somehow uh, so that his sort of shoulders hook under there like so let's get his arms in place and then there is a belt that clips around his body and that should hold him in place because obviously you are now going to be pushing a sort of uh, pump here that is to pump his body up here you don't want everything to pull out so let me try and clip this together it feels quite tight Right, so with a bit of effort, I have clipped him in place. It's not the easiest thing to do, but basically he's clipped in at his waist and his shoulders are held in quite firmly. If I move his body up a little bit, that's better. So now if I pump this button here, we should see his lungs working, which they do. You can see his lungs are going and it changes all of the programs down this side. That's not a bad feature at all, but the exciting features with this are the light up features, which is what you need this power pack for. This is supposed to show an X-ray of Pulsar's body on the left hand side. So if I plug this in here, a light should light up, which it does. You can just about see it there. I think I'm going to have to switch my filming lights off and then maybe we'll be able to see this x-ray a bit better. But the idea is you can move this up and down and you should be able to see an x-ray of Pulsar's body as it is moved up and down. So let me rearrange my lights and we'll see if we can make that a little bit more obvious. OK, I think with my filming lights off, although you can still see a bit of a shadow from the daylight outside, you can see there now is an x-ray here. And if I move this light up and down, we can see different parts of Pulsar's body. So there is his brain and we'll scroll that down a bit and you can see his lungs, all sorts of bits. It's quite a nice gimmick, but really it's just not bright enough in this, certainly in this light. I'm in a pretty dark room now and you can still barely see this. It does work, but just not quite as well as you would have expected. And the connection is not great considering this is essentially a brand new toy. Yeah, it's not going too well. Oh, there you go. It's got a little bit brighter. There's obviously dodgy connections on this. I'll uh, try and push that in a bit more and see. I actually quite like that feature. I think it could have been done a lot better. Maybe 40 years ago, this was sort of pushing it at the limits of what it was doing. But that does work quite nicely, I suppose. Not the greatest things, but I quite like it. I think, uh, yeah, I could, uh, I could certainly have played with that as a child. That's quite a nice little feature. But we're also supposed to be able to uh, take this pack out and plug it in behind here, and it should light up Pulsar's brain. So let me just rearrange this again, and we'll see if we can light up his brain. The other main gimmick of Pulsar, apart from his uh, chest being able to be seen and his lungs work, is that you could open up his head. And if we just pop that open, it should sort of clip open just like that. And, and you had these mission discs that you could stick inside there. And these were sort of the discs that he had to do various operations and projects. The idea is, though, we stick this somewhere behind here, like so, push that in just like that. And you can see it now lights up his brain again. It's not the brightest of things because it's got to come through a little hole in the top of his head. But there it does sort of work. And we have lit up Pulsar's brain. The set comes with this rather complicated set of instructions. Not only is it the instructions on how to put the thing together, at the back of it, it has this sort of mission check chart. So uh, it shows you where to put all of the dials and in what positions to put the dials, depending on what sort of mission that you're going to send him onto. So it says your assignment to program Pulsar for a specific A4 mission. Important, this will be Pulsar's first programming. So please select the mission below very carefully. Your choice and skillful handling of the mission check chart are vital to Pulsar's success. So we've got the A4 missions mini charge. Pulsar puts out a fire in an atomic energy plant, must handle radioactive material. Caps an oil well after explosion and fire, must withstand white hot heat. Recaptures furious grizzly bear escaped from zoo, needs superhuman strength and iron nerves. To program, set all dials for A4 mission. So let's do that. Right, we've got to set these for A4 mission. So we've got to uh, rotate the top one. So we are going to, there they go, go program A4 mission. We can turn this dial to A4 and we'll turn this one to A4 and then we'll turn this one to A4. Maybe I need to set the top one to a white thing. What's the, 
what's the next one status check status check also oh, maybe I have to do status check just above A4 so there you go I've now set them all they are all set to A4 and then when you pump this I guess they rotate round it gives you the percentages so we've got go program A4 go and he's at 0.8 on all of them do that again status check verge and then we've got go program B6 go so is that the next one oh yes look you can see we've got to here we can go to B6 and then you've got us what's he doing here he's got to stop a dam break holds wall of water back and needs fantastic strength and endurance or he uh, rescues submariners trapped on the floor of the marina trench 30,000 feet deep must stand ocean pressure avoid the bends climbs active volcano in South America 14,000 feet Mount Galera needs tremendous endurance must withstand molten lava blimey he's quite an energetic chap if we rotate it around again we go to um, what's that one c8 go and this is swims in oil slick out to sea after tanker explosion needs amazing endurance and strength i think you get the idea there's a lot of the same sort of stuff and um yeah i'm not really sure uh, it would last that long for play value i sort of like it but it's a weird thing it doesn't really do a great deal the most interesting thing is the fact that uh, it makes his lungs pump sort of i think you do really have to sort of jam this figure in he's already slid down a bit if i jam that in and pump it yeah it is sort of working i have to say i think this set looks better than it actually plays with but um yeah it's an intriguing thing nonetheless i've just brought in the six million dollar man bionic repair station and transport so you can sort of compare the two they're about the same scale i have to say i think the bionic transport and repair station is a far better toy because not only have you got it as a rocket which you can sort of fly around and steve austin sits inside it it then turns into the sort of repair station with all sorts of bits and gadgets whereas this thing is just a sort of wall of uh, dials and bits and uh, nothing particularly works very well you can see they've certainly copied elements from the the bionic man because uh, all of these pipes and stuff are very similar to that and just the general way it looks but i don't think it is as great a toy as uh, steve austin's one but it's going to look very nice the two displayed together because i think they are sort of uh, comparable in what they are trying to do and i think i really do like the x-ray idea it's a shame it doesn't work very well but i think that could actually be improved using modern lights and something a lot brighter i think you could make that look really quite good and really quite striking I really want to like this playset and say that it would have been something that would have been fun to play with as a child, but I just don't think it would have been. The uh, Bionic Man one is such a good toy and such a sort of fun toy, whereas this, it sort of works and it's sort of got some nice gimmicks, but it's just not that great. It feels quite cheap and plasticky, and actually once you've done a couple of things with it, it's not that great. Nothing is sort of working particularly well. The uh, sort of pumping action to uh, get his lungs going, he doesn't really fit in that well. In fact, I've undone the belt here because when you put the belt on, it sort of pushes him down. And uh, actually, because his feet are sitting on the floor, it raises the whole place head up. So it just, he doesn't really fit in exactly how you want him to. Certainly doesn't fit in how it's sort of shown on the box. It's just not that easy to uh, get in place. So it's a nice idea. I think it will display quite well. And I'm looking forward to having this displayed with the Barnick Man next to it. But uh, as an actual toy, I think you would have been quite disappointed as a child if you'd been given this. It would have had sort of half an hour's worth of play value and then you'd have got bored with it. The figure itself, I really like. I still think Pulsar is a great figure and he's great to play with. He's not quite as poseable as Steve Austin. His feet are sort of uh, welded in place and he you know, can't move about as much. But he looks really cool and the gimmicks are in him, the fact that all the bits of his lungs move and all the sort of blood should pulse around, that's a really nice gimmick. But the playset certainly uh, lets this down. It's not something that you'd have wanted as a child child so am i pleased to have this in my collection oh most definitely yes i think the box uh, alone makes it worthwhile having i really love the artwork on this and as i say it doesn't work as a great toy but it really will look very nice displayed and i'm so pleased to uh, finally get this in my collection i never thought i would have it so i do need to say a massive thank you to uh, lawrence from toy planet uk who for putting this aside for me um, when he saw that i was uh, desperate to have it it's very kind of him you may also like to check out my uh, restoration of uh, the pulsar figure which I did a few years back. That was a fun project because I had to uh, make all sorts of bits, including the little discs inside his head, which are often missing. So I showed a way of making those from scratch. So do go and check that video out. If you've enjoyed this video, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.